Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder, and I just want to give you a couple of tips on silicon in the round sinks, basins, baths, that kind of thing. We all know it's a bit of an art. I've been practicing it for around 35 years, and I'd say I'm just beginning to get the hang of it, but I do use a little cheat, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Now, Mark from Abacus Bathrooms, he reckons he can do it without any cheats. He reckons he get a first time without masking tape or anything. So we're going to give a little challenge. Mark versus me. So Mark, you go first. Okay, so I've got to hand it to you. That is pretty good actually. But I think I gave him too easy a challenge. I'm going to give him the bath because I reckon you got away a bit lightly there. One thing, that gun, is a little bit of a cut above average gun, isn't it? It's a little bit of a pro gun. Makes it easier if you get a nice smooth action on the gun, yeah? So you have another go, Mark, all right? And I'll do the long one. You see what I've done here? I've fitted him up. I've given him the one with the spout in. Nice control. Right to the challenge. Easy, smooth action. What's he going to do when he gets to the end? It's a joiner at work, though. No plumber. What does he do when he gets to the end? Oh. No, squeeze. He's gone back on it. How long have you been doing this, Mark? Good recovery. I've heard a little bit of soapy water helps. Is that right? I've got to say, mate, that was well recovered. That was a dodgy one, that was difficult. I had the hardest one. Yeah, you did have the hardest one, and uh, you came through it well. Oh, I'm nervous now. Of course, the essential thing is to make sure it's clean and dry before you start, because it won't stick to old soap or wet surfaces. And it's all about getting the right amount of material in there. But you can see I've got a few little lumps. Yeah. I don't know, maybe not quite enough in the end there. So here's my cheap method. I told you I had a cheap method. So this is a silicon spatula from Abacus and it's got three different profiles. So to be fair, I did set him up there. I did give him the hardest challenge, but he told me it was good. And I happen to know he's a subscriber to Silicon Monthly. <laughs> but using this silicon spatula, I was able to make up for a certain lack of talent, if you like, and I reckon I came a close second. If there's a little bit of residue along the tiles, best thing to do is leave that till the next day and then take it off with a sharp Stanley scraper or something like that, just a sharp blade. Don't scratch the tiles, just slice it off. But it's best not to mess with it until it's fully cured. So I'm Roger Bisbee, I hope you found that interesting or entertaining and don't forget to come back to Skill Builder soon and don't forget if you need to do a good siliconing job, the silicone spatula from Abacus is the way to go.